good morning students today's topic is economics for a better producer for personal and society this topic is the level of economy and economics why are the important for us first of all what is an economy an economy consists of the economic system of a country or other area when people have jobs they have money when they have money they spend money this is the circle of money purchases and job so and this is when people have job they have money when they have money they spend money when they spend money businesses make money and can pay their workers it's a cycle it can also work backward how and this topic's objectives are first is a country's standard for living depends on its ability to produce goods and services to understand why the study of economics is important we first need to understand what economics is what is economics then first of all we know about economics then colin colin in english dictionary define economics as the study of the way in which money industry and trade are organized in society that is a economics definition in colin in english dictionary and that considered a social science economics use scientific method to understand how scarce resources are exchanged within society economics study theories and techniques useful for developing policies in government as they have a deep understanding of how to create efficiency in today's world american economist thomas sowell provides another useful definition economics is the study of cause and effect relationship in the economy so why is economic important this inquiry into cause and effect relationship is the influencing economic growth economics will look at risk and benefits on people the job market and society as a whole when advising how to allocate resources this is a question arise why is it important to study economic economics plays a role in our everyday life studying economics enables us to understand past future and current models and apply them to societies governments businesses and individuals these are the theory of economics and what is the theory 
of economics. Economics theories, there are many different areas of economics at macroeconomics, large scale, on microeconomics, individual levels. There are four types of economic system. First is traditional economic system. Second, commanded economic system. Next is market economic system. And last is mixed economic system. And that is the economic in real life. Applied economics is the term used to describe how economic theory can be applied to real world situations. This look at everything from cost and benefits to predicted human behavior to make an informed decision. This is the real life of the economics. And next, importance of studying economics. So, why do we study economics? Here are five reasons why studying economics is important. First is informed decisions. Economics provide information and force forecasting to inform decisions within companions and governments. This knowledge of economics or economic intelligence is based on data and modeling. And next point is influence. Influence everything. And this is influence economics issues influence our daily life. This includes issues such as tax and inflation and interest rates and wealth, inequality and emerging markets and energy and the environment a broad subject. Economics provides answers to a range of health, social and pol political issues that impact households and wider communities. Next point is impacts industries. Impact industries, forms of all size Forms of all size and industries have to real relay on economics, whether that's for product, research and development, pricing strategies, or how to advertise. This wide influence means studying economics can open up a variety of career option across all sectors of the economy from agriculture to manufacturing to banking and consultancy fourth point is inspires business success understanding how consumers behave is vital for a business to succeed Economists use theories and models to predicate behavior and inform business strategies. For example, how to analyze big data. And this is the fifth point, international perceptive. Economics effects 
the world we live in understanding domestic and international perspectives historic and current can provide a useful insight into how different cultures and societies interact for international cooperation understanding the world economy is key to driving success and next is the should i study economics and this question is why study is our economics an economics course will give you an in depth understanding of core economic theory and how to apply it to the real business world develop a range of transfer transferable skills such as communication problem solving research numeracy and time management why this is the range of skills of develop economics economics is a vital respected field of study and provides an alternative to an accounting and finance degree as it offers similar career opportunity for graduates you could work in job roles within a range of industries such as banking finance accountancy businesses government job and consultancy next is many questions arise this topic what is the importance of economics the common people have become more engrossed in the role economics plays in our daily life economics deals from the property market to the macro economic of the household budget everything is connected to economics and therefore its interpretation is enthralling for the upgrading of employability in banking government sector ngos and businesses attending a comprehensive understanding of the diverse ways that people scrutinize economics phenomena allows for more complete and ingenious practice development economics can expose and heralding ideas and includes regarding the big concern of the 21st century such as poverty inequality unemployment and globalization a need is to cultivate international acquaintance to revel economic properties there is a need to introduce a deep understanding of specific countries and issues established on tangible analysis of antiquity establishments 
and political economy it is an opportunity that will undoubtedly economics can be used to fight poverty by implementing the right economic policies the politicians have to translate the research into action from instead appropriate plug ins there is a need to strain explicit programs that can assuage poverty ranging for low cost medical treatments to involve it education program we need to examine the cause of unemployment absenteeism in education social programs and other issues these are the importance of economics and next is what is the economic growth economic growth is the very essential for us and our country this economic growth is to many types of our country what is economic growth economic growth is an increase in the production of economy goods and services compared from one period of time to another it can be measured in nominal or real adjusted for influence terms traditionally aggregate economic growth is measured in terms of gross national product or gross domestic product this is called gnp and gdp although alternative matrix for sometimes used next is why are the factors of production important to economic growth many factors i know about these factors economic growth only comes from increasing the equality and quantity of the factors of production which consist of four broad types land labor capital and entrepreneurship the factors of production are the resources used in creating on manufacturing a good and service in an economy and the understanding the factors of production the factor of production are what's need needed for a company to earn an economic profit the four factors of production are first is land the land is any natural resource that's needed or used in the production of a good and service land can also include land can also include in the any resource that comes from the land such as oil gas and other commodities such as copper and silver typically the land includes any natural resource that's used 
as raw materials in the production process. And next is labor. Labor consists of, a, of the people that are responsible for the production of a good, including factory, workers, managers, sales people, and the engineers that dis designed the machinery used in production. This is the labor in this point. Next is capital. Capital refers to capital goods such as manufacturing, plants, machinery, tools or any equipment used in the production process. Capital might refer to a fleet of trucks or frog lifts as well as heavy machinery. Next is entrepreneurship. Ent entrepreneurship is the fourth factor and includes the visionaries and innovators behind the entry entry production process the entrepreneur combine all the other factors of production to conceptualize create and produce the product or service and this is the understanding the factor of production and next is it's not surprising that a large variance in average income per head is reflected in various other measures of the quality of life and the standard of living Citizens of high income countries have better nutrition, better health care, and long life expectancy. That citizens of low income countries, as well as more TV set, more DVD players, and more cars. And next, is the changes in life standards over time are also large. Over the last 50 years, average income in West European and North America have grown at about 2% per year. On the other hand, the average income in Ethiopia rose by only a third over this period. An average annual growth rate of around only 0.6%. Next, almost all variation in living standard is attributable to differences in countries productivity that is the amount of goods and services produced from each hour of a works time in nations where workers can produce a large quantity of goods and services per unit of time. Most people enjoy a high standard of life. In nations where workers are less productivity, 
प्रोडक्टिव मोस्ट पीपल मस्ट एंडर अ मोर मैनेज एक्सटेंसिव सिमिलरली द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ अ नेशंस प्रोडक्टिविटी डिटरमाइंस द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ इट्स एवरेज इनकम एंड नेक्स्ट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड्स also has profound implications for public policy when thinking about how and policy will affect affect living standards the key question is how it will affect our ability to produce goods and services this is the post living standards policy makers need to raise productivity by ensuring that workers are well educated have the tools needed to produce goods and services and have access to the best available technology and this production production is a process of combining various materials import and immaterial imports plants now how in order to make something for consumption it is the act of creating an output a good or service which has value and contribute to the utility of individuals the area of economics that focuses on production is referred to as production theory which in many respects is similar to the conception or consumer theory in economics and that the production process and output directly result from productivity utilizing the original imports known as primary producer goods or services land labor and capital are deemed fundamental production factors and next the these primary imports are not significantly altered in the output process nor do they become a whole component in the product under classical economy materials and energy are categorized as secondary factors as they are by products of land labor and capital it is common practice that several forms of controllable imports are used to achieve the output of a product the production function assesses the relationship between the inputs and the quantity of output economic well-being is created in a production process meaning all economic activities that aim directly or indirectly to satisfy human wants and need the degree to which we needs are satisfied is often expected as a measure of economic well-being in production there are two features 
which explain increasing economic well-being and they are improving quality price ratio of goods and services and increasing incomes from growing and more efficient market production or total production which help in increasing gdp the most important forms of production are first is the market production public production and household production these are the form of production and next in order to understand the origin of economic well being we must understand these three production processes all of them produce commodities which have value and contribute to well being of individuals an economic well being also increase due to growth of incomes and that are gained from the growing and more efficient market production market production is the only production from that creates and distributes incomes to stake holders individuals and societies are forced to make choice because most resources are scarce economics is the study of how individuals and society choose to allocate scarce resources why they choose to all allocate them that way and the consequence of those decisions and scarcity scarcity is sometimes considered the basic problem of economics resources are scarce because we live in a world in which humans wants are infinite but the land labor and capital required to satisfy those wants are limited this conflict between societies unlimited wants and our limited resources means choices must be made when de deciding how to allocate skills resources and this is the importance of the factor of production what is the factor of produ production if businesses can improve the efficiency of the factors of production it is standard stands of reason that they can create more goods at a higher quality and perhaps a lower price any increase in production leads to in economy growth as measured by gdp it's called gross domestic product gdp is merely a metric that represents the total production of all goods and services in any economy improved economic growth raises the standard of living by lowering costs and rising wages next capital goods include technological advances from iphones to cloud computing to electric cars for example 
in the last several years, the technology of fracking or horizontal drilling has led to improved extract of oil marking, making of the U.S one of the world's largest oil producers. The innovation could not be done without the labor behind the process. From conceptualization to the finished product. However, as technology helps to increase the efficiency of the factors, of production, it can also replace labor to reduce costs, for example, intelligence and robotic machines are used in manufacturing, boosting productivity, reducing costly errors from human beings, and ultimately reducing labor costs. Of course, nothing gets started without the entrepreneurs who create a vision and the action steps needed to design the production process. Entrepreneurs combine all the factors of production, including buying the land or raw materials, hiring the labor and investing the capital goods necessary to bring a finished production to market. This type of market in the economic goods and services I See, as paramedics, a Greek philosopher famously occupied, nothing comes from nothing. Economics growth results from better factor of production. This process is clearly demonstrated when an economy undergoes industrialization or other techni technological revolution. Each hour of labor can generate, it, generate increasing amount of valuable goods. And this type of public production and household production are financed by the income generated in market production. Thus, production has a double role in creating well-being. That is the role of producing goods and services and the role of creating income. Because of this double role, market production is the prime premises motors of economic well-being and therefore here under review the satisfaction of needs organizes from the use of the commodities which are produced the need satisfaction increases when the quality price ratio of the commodities improves and more satisfaction is achieved at less cost Improving the quality price ratio of commodities is to a producer an essential way to improve the competitiveness of products. But this kind of gains distributed to customers cannot be measured with production data. Improving the competitiveness of products means often to the producer lower product. Product price and therefore 
losses in incomes which are to be complete sent completized with the growth of sales value Div divining for the primary factors in compass all of the resourcing involvements such as land which includes the natural resources above the below the soil however there is a difference in human capital and labor in addition to the common factors of production in different economic schools of thought entrepreneurship and technology are sometimes considered involved factor in production in this type of economics for a better producer for personal and society this is the topic i want to discuss with you and last the references of this topic is this this references are your help or more study in this topic and the end of this topic we know about multiple choice questions first question is india's economic planning cannot be said to be indicative imperative limited democratic the answer is this question is imperative and next question is economic survey is published by who is the publish this survey ministry of finance planning commission government of india and indian statistical institute who is published what is the answer answer is ministry of finance and next is india is the biggest producer as well as the largest consumer and importer of which of the following crops option is wheat cotton sugarcane and pulses the answer is this question is pulses and next question is which of the is an example of passive investment instrument first option is gold eftfs mutual funds stocks and preference shares the answer is this question is gold etf etfs is the answer of this question and next question is multi fiber agreement is related to textiles agriculture chemicals plastics the answer is this question is textiles and next question indian economy is socialistic economy gandhian economy mixed economy and free economy answer is this question is mixed economy mixed economy is the answer of this question and next question is major portion of working population in india is in a territory factor 
प्राइवेट सेक्टर पब्लिक सेक्टर एंड सेकेंडरी सेक्टर द मेजर पोर्शन ऑफ वर्किंग पॉपुलेशन है प्राइवेट सेक्टर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लानिंग इन इंडिया डिजर्व इट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव फ्रॉम फंडामेंटल राइट फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज प्रियम्बल डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी द वॉट इज द आंसर आंसर इज डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ state policy and next question is in which sector the public sector is most dominant transport steel production financial institution commercial banking answer is commercial banking sector the public sector is most dominant and the last question is this topic in economics production means a farming ma manufacturing creating utility and making the answer is creating utility is the answer of this question that's all about the this this topic now last uh, thank you